Hey guys, so this room is really echoey. I tried closing off part of the bathroom so that way it wouldn't be too echoey, but we basically just have walls and some rugs in here, so there's not a whole lot of cloth or fabric to absorb the noise. So it's gonna be echoey. I don't know what the sound's gonna sound like in the camera, and the setup is not ideal, but I need to be able to see myself and also be next to all of my appliances to do my hair to show you guys. This isn't the most ideal way to film, but this is why Kelly doesn't do hair tutorials all the time. I thought today that I would show you guys how I wear my hair in two different styles. The most requested so far on Instagram and Facebook have been when I wear it wavy and when I wore it in the wavy with the braid. So I thought I would go ahead and show you guys how I do that with my new haircut, which I just realized I still have not made my haircut video, which I will get to sooner or later. This is what it looks like when it's just been air dried. I don't have any product in it. I just took a shower. I actually have my clothes on to go work out because I was planning on working out after this. Uh, so I really didn't do my hair today. I just, like I said, took a shower, let it air dry. There's a little bit of weird kink right here. I mean, I have, I have naturally straight, fine hair, but there are certain areas that do like to kind of frizz up, or not frizz up, but you know, wave up. Usually what I do is, like I said, I will wash my hair really quickly, I will throw, put some blow dry spray in my hair if I'm, do, if I'm in a hurry to go out the door, and then I will just blow dry it real quick. And it's really nice to short hair because I can just blow dry it at its ends over and over again, and it dries pretty quickly. Right now I do have some wet spots still in my hair, so I'm gonna really quickly finish drying those things. Uh, first I'm going to use my Kenra blow dry spray. This is my favorite heat protectant spray. I've talked about it for a few years now. I'm going to spray that in my hair lightly and then just blow it out of my hair real quick. If I were just around home or just going to the grocery store or not really doing anything special, I would actually kind of just leave my hair like this uh, just because it's easy and I don't think it looks that bad and all that. You saw it mostly air dried and then I just blow dried it a little bit and it looks like this and so I've been really happy with the cut. Next thing that I do after I use my blow dry spray and blow dry a little bit is I use my Shuomura Art of Hair Fiber Lift. This is a protective volumizer. I picked this up when I did get my hair cut. I don't usually buy into the products that my stylist tries to sell me after they cut my hair but I really liked what this did to my hair and it smelled really good and I also liked that it was like a really nice like smooth like clear gel instead of something like thick and goopy and it really didn't weigh down my hair at all or make it greasy. I don't remember how much this was. I think it was like 20 something dollars but I just use a little bit of a dime to a nickel size of it. I go a little bit overboard just because that's just who I am. And then I just rub it in my hands and kind of all over so that way it gets on either side of my fingers and hands so I can really work it in. And I just really put it in at my roots and just all over the place so it smells really good too which is nice yeah it just gives it volume which I really really like so after I put that in again I like it like this I would totally just wear it like this but anyways that's not the point after that I take my uh, one inch I believe this is a one inch curling wand this is a Mika curling wand it's kind of on the fritz right now I'm gonna have to buy a new one because it kind of turns off and turns on on its own which you don't want that and then I start taking pieces in the front so I'll start with this side first I usually like to just do every other way and it's really nice because my hair is so short it doesn't take as long as when it was longer but I like to just kind of curl um, away from my face towards my face away from my face towards my face so again I just take a few pieces this one didn't curl as well as I wanted it to and I'm not going for super curly I'm just going for like wavy so I just kind of I don't wrap the ends I wrap probably a quarter of an inch to an inch away from the ends and I just kind of take separate pieces I don't have to curl all of my hair at this point because it's so short and because there's so much volume I can get away with just kind of curling the top layer and then it just kind of gives the illusion that all of it's been wavy and curled so that's why this style does not take that long at all like I said I don't curl the ends though that kind of gives that straight beachy wave kind of look if I leave the ends out and if it's something's too short I'll just curl it around just to get that body so as you can see, once I kind of mess it up a little bit, that looks a little bit like curly. And I usually wear it around my ear anyway, so yeah. Okay, so moving on, I'm gonna go into this side and I'm gonna take my front section of my bang. This one I'm not gonna curl too much. I'm just gonna kind of wrap it around lightly and then just let it go. So, cause I kind of want it to be a little bit straight. I just want a little bit of, a little bit of um, curl in it or kink. 
it's not even a curl, it's a kink. And then I'll wrap this one towards my face, again, leaving like an inch to a quarter of an inch at the end. Hold it for a few minutes or seconds and let it go. So it kind of has that. And then I will just, again, work my way around, taking about a half an inch sections around my face, going every other direction. So curling away, curling towards, curling away, curling towards. So after I have all of the curls and kind of waves in that I want it to look like, I'm gonna take my texturizing mist. This is again by Kenra. I love this stuff, it smells so good. So I'm just gonna spray this all over my hair. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna give my hair a lot of texture, kind of, you know, because my hair is so fine, especially after I washed it. That's what a lot of people, you know, don't realize is that a lot of people with short hair actually have fine hair, but they just use a lot of texturizer in their hair, so it makes it look more, you know, PC and defined and all of that, so. This is a terrible video. I don't know why I even attempt videos like this. So then that's it. I mean, I'll put a little bit of hairspray in if I need to. I'll redo a few of these curls if they don't look PC enough. But after I use that texturizing spray, it pretty much holds in my hair to where I need it to be throughout the day. And then there you go, that's what it looks like after I'm done and all is said and done. If there's like a few baby hairs that are kind of creeping in down here underneath my bang, I'll take my Kenra Texturizing Taffy, which this actually does the same thing as the mist. It's just another form of texturizer. I'll use this sometimes if I want it a little bit more messy than this. I'll put some in my hands and scrunch it into my hair. But right now I'm just gonna take a little tiny dab, like I just dabbed it in there and take all these baby hairs that are creeping out and I'm just gonna move them over underneath my long bang so that they don't stick out. So it makes it just a little bit more clean there. That's how I do my kind of messy, curly, texturized hair. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I do my braid, which I'm gonna set you up differently, I think, for that. I just realized like I could have been filming this whole thing from this angle. I don't know why I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting better. I'm learning from experience, right? Moving on from that, you guys want to know how I do my braid or that kind of side French braid. I actually don't really like the side French braid. I liked the way it looked in my hair, but I have so many like forehead wrinkles that I'm a little bit self-conscious about sometimes that I don't really like to expose my forehead all that much. But since I'm going to the gym, I'm going to do that and I might as well show you guys since that was another thing you were asking. You. And I'm not, I shouldn't say I'm self-conscious about my forehead wrinkles. Well, no, I am. I just, I mean, it doesn't bother me to the point where I'm like, oh my gosh, my forehead wrinkles. But, you know, it's just not my favorite part of my body. So I don't like to like say, oh, look at my forehead wrinkles. Again, I'm blabbering. I get nervous when I do hair tutorials. Starting off, it's usually helpful if you have some texture and body in your hair already. So usually I would suggest like this kind of thing for like day two hair or if you have just washed your hair, do what I did, which is put some kind of curls in it and then also some texturizing spray. Because when I have clean, just like fine hair, my braid doesn't A, stay, and B, it looks really, really thin. So you wanna add more texture to your hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, pomade, the taffy, texturizing taffy again, and I'm going to put it, a little bit of that, I'm gonna rub it in my hands, and I'm gonna put it in the front of my side bang, because that's where we're gonna be doing the braid. So basically, I'm just going to just squeeze it in here. You can use any type of texturizer, like I said, but this is what I have on me, so it's gonna look a little bit crazy. I'm gonna be looking at the viewfinder or whatever right now so that I can see what I'm doing. Starting off, I'm gonna take a little section, and this is just a simple French braid. I'm gonna take a little section in the middle, leaving a little bit on each side so that I can braid it in, and I am going to just start braiding. So I'm gonna go under, and then each time I braid a new section under, like, I okay, so this is a little bit harder than I thought. So I'm gonna dive these into three different sections. So I have three different sections. So I'm gonna go under and then under again. And then before I take this one under again, I'm gonna grab a little bit from the front and go under. And then before I take this one under again, I'm gonna grab a little bit from the back. And I'm gonna do this really loosely. I'm not gonna do a really tight braid because I want it to be a little bit loose and thick. So again, I went under and I'm gonna take this top one and before I pull it under again, I'm gonna take a little bit more from the front. And then again, before I take this one under again, I pull a little bit from the back, like so. And then again, pull a little bit from the front, take it back, and then pull a little bit more from the back, and take it back. And then I'm just gonna continue braiding it down after that, because I grabbed enough, I feel like. So I kind of 
kind of have like a loose French braid. And I'm gonna just like take my fingers in it and pull apart some of the braid because I want it to be kind of messy. And then I'm gonna take some bobby pins and I'm just going to bobby pin that bitch down my head. And again, the bobby pins stay in a lot better if you have texture in your hair as well. So the texturizing spray, guys, I'm telling you, if you have short hair, or even long hair, it's a miracle worker. So then you have this nice little braid, your bangs are out of your face, and then you can take some more pomade to get those baby hairs. But I'm going to just fix these curls real quick so that they're not all over the place. So I'm gonna take my curling wand in again, and maybe braid or curl these in. And then you have a nice little braid. Little thingy, I don't know. That's showing up well. But yeah, that's just another way that I've been doing my hair, especially if I'm gonna go work out or do something like that. If I wanna look nice, I guess, when I work out, which that's rare. I don't know why I'm going to the gym right now with a full face of makeup on. But yeah, so that's another way that I do my hair. It's really simple, it didn't take long. Even the curling didn't take long. Uh, usually I get sick of my side bang at a certain point throughout the day, so, so I'll just do this and then it will kind of pull it back and kind of make it look a little bit different. Uh, but yeah, I again, you guys have seen me. I. Before I got my hair cut, I didn't really play around with my hair all too much. I mean, I wore it straight, I wore it up in a ponytail, or I wore it in curls. So, it's really nice to be able to have, like, I don't know, fun with my hair again. But yeah, so there's how I do my hair wavy, that's how I do my hair with a uh, braid, and that's how I add more texture to my short hair. I will leave all the products that I mentioned underneath this video if you want to know more. Sorry the first half of this video wasn't really filmed very well. I could have just done this the entire time and used you guys as a mirror. Lesson learned again, and I will do that next time. So if you want to know any other hairstyles, I guess I'll do my usual like poofy side one, I guess. I don't know. I'll just kind of show you guys how I've been doing my hair. I know a lot of you guys want to know how I did my hair really curly that one time that I actually used a hair straight for which I used my diamond uh, irresistible me hair straightener it's like a one or two inch is that two inches it's about one to two inches thick hi sweetie but I just use this to do all those curls so if you want to see a video like that give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment below and I will see you guys all in my next video bye